want to go. Okay, good. My name is John Bo and I hope you are welcome to my channel. Today, everyone is fighting to understand the principles how Fourier's generator works. But today, we are going to lay more emphasis on what is the secret of Fourier's generator. Fourier's generator is divided into three parts, which is the alternator, the flyaway, and the, this, the motor we are going to use, either AC or DC. But today we are going to lay more emphasis on the flyaway. What are the secrets in flyaway? How can someone determine the kind of flyaway to be used? Is it in kg? Is it in, 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 um, either in diameter, thickness, or so ever? But today I want to show you some hint on how to know the type of flyaway to be used. In this case, you may be surprised looking at me with a white plastic rubber, which is I saw I bought from Bent rubber cover. And I know this one is very car and can also be accessible with very low cost. So I want to, I want to demonstrate to you how to know the flyaway that is suitable for each KVA generator. Let follow me as I go. Now, as you can see, the first thing here is for you to draw a diameter that will divide this circular part into two. The next thing you do, draw another diameter perpendicular to each of them. When you draw it, the next thing you do is that you divide you know the weight of this flyway. Know the weight of the flyway you are using. Means that if this flyway is 100 kg, when you divide it by 4, it becomes 25 kg at each of the parts. 25 kg, you further divide it by 10, which will give you 2.5 kg each. That means at each of these holes, you see, each of the O's should represent 2.5 kg each. So now, in this case, how can you determine which flyway is suitable for your foilage generator? Follow me. You take your time watch, you put it on a time watch, you, stop, you point it, and Put holes here. Put hole. You can use your normal fire or so the iron to drill hole and put a hole here so that when you spin it, it can easily what be spin and roll faster. So you, you on your own you are going to determine when you put both are not twelve both are not. I repeat it, twelve both are not. You put one here. You can put it any you put the other one, any of the numbers. When you spin it. You will get to a stage whereby you will discover that at a particular number, it will run very fast with low torque. But if you get to another number, it will run very slow with what? Very high torque. You know, when you are talking about determining the flywheel to be used, you must also be aware of the kind of RPM that that like a foliage generator requires you know you start from the lower the arrow the lower the the kva the higher the arrow pm so as you are going up up to 50 kva the volume the rating of the arrow pm also what drop so i'm going to tell you that when you get your scale you get your you, you now use your own hand to check the value you can say, okay, let me start with 1 and 10, 2 and 9, 3 and 8, 4 and 7, 5 and 6. If you put your boat, you tight it. You put on that boat, you tight it. You ensure you pass through the back and tight it at the side. Let the two of the boats and not have the same weight. When you put it, you spin it on a suspended uh, position. 
you check the time it will come to rest you check the time it will come to rest when you check all the time what you need is the highest time and the highest the lowest time the highest time and the lowest time the, in my next video i'll be showing you how to determine the particular motor and uh, alternator to be used but in this case i want you to give me your results the outcome of your results spin it more than two three times take the average and send it to the link below my youtube by, by, by subscribing so when you do it you yourself you begin to see some hidden fats that is hidden inside the flywheel i hope you enjoy my lesson today try to subscribe at the bottom button and i'll be expecting you next time thank you